started playing bro here at Broadway Tennis Club when I was eight years old. This is my first singles trophy in 1981 at the Salisbury Open. So I started playing uh, interstate tournaments at 14. I started travelling to Melbourne, so mum used to drive me over to Melbourne and play two or three tournaments a year in the 14 and unders, and I started to get an Australian ranking at 16. So then I uh, moved into state team twice at under 18s, so I enjoyed playing that. And then I decided that, okay, let's have a crack at this and go away and start playing. I spent, well, I spent most of my time playing overseas in Europe. So there's some challenges that go along the way that people don't see. As an 18 year old I left home, we're talking 1988, so a long time ago, so there's no email communication, there's no mobile phones, there was no, uh, it was very hard to communicate family, so it was very homesick. So that was, very, that was difficult and I was on a very low budget, so that was hard, so I slept in a car for three months. Um, you're packing up week to week and you go out and play and it's your livelihood. If you don't win, you don't earn any money. So I went through that for like three years. So I guess that had a fairly large toll on my career at the end of it. So when I got my ranking up and actually was in a situation to play, I guess the battle was just, the mental battle as much as the physical battle was too much to continue to keep trying to live like that. It was too hard. Yeah, I feel like I could have got a little higher. Um, I could have done a little bit more of my tennis, that's definitely like from a ranking point of view, but from a, from a discipline and a, um, I guess, motivation point of view, I did, did what I could. Yeah, so the peak of my career was in 1991 when I got the 669 in the world in doubles. So that was, it was good, it was really good, and I sort of just got to the situation where I couldn't quite crack it a little bit further and uh, yeah, ran out of finances I guess, so he decided to come home. <laughs> so I'm president of the tennis club um, and I'm also, which is only just been the last couple of years I've been president and then I'm the club coach of the club and I make sure then that the club's got a progression system so that, like from very young age kids coming into the club have always got a, a progress and a place to play. It's been my life, so um, yeah, I, I, I mean, I don't know anything else. I don't know anything different. I guess I just keep doing what I'm doing. So if you do something well, you enjoy it. So you, you can continue to do it as long as you can.